it was quite a hectic uh, uh, two weeks, starting with the Guptas when the news broke that uh, they were seen in Switzerland. How far are you in trying to uh, communicate with your counterparts in, in the United Arab Emirates to relook at this matter? Yeah, no, thank you, uh, Sophie. We, we are indeed in communication with the UAE ambassador here, including the Minister of Justice in the UAE. Um, and um, we think that um, there could be uh, some way forward soon, uh, by next week, where we'll be able to announce to society what is the action that we're going to take after all these uh, engagements. But um, the key message for now is that the, the red notice is still active. So nothing has changed with regards to the red notice. I know we earlier said uh, it has um, been invalidated, but we have since clarified with Interpol, we know that it is still active. The Minister of Home Affairs is saying that uh, because they still have the South African documents, something must be done because uh, in terms of traveling and whatever they are doing, they are using the South African documents because they are the citizens of uh, South Africa, even though they acquired the citizenship uh, dubiously. But the challenge is if you... Uh, uh, evoke that citizenship or cancel the citizenship and you take your documents then it will pose a problem for department of justice who is trying to bring them back to south africa because then you are not entitled to uh, using the current processes you are engaged in because they are not south african citizens have you spoken to your counterpart in terms of this matter yeah, we have had uh, some preliminary engagements, and um, you will remember that there was a point where he he went to court with regards to the extension of the passports. Yes, there was a discussion, including with the with the authorities here, and I think at the time um, that was an approach that was taken. But um, from now on, we will further engage again to concretize what should be the the way forward, because the reality is that. Um, if someone has committed a crime in South Africa, it does not matter where they come from. They still need to be tried here in South Africa. And if the requested country does not want to bring them to be tried in our country, like the UAE on the issue of money laundering, they should tell us that they are prosecuting them in the UAE or not. So from what we have, there is nothing in that regard. So we will further concretize. When we have concretized on that aspect, will be able to inform the nation that this is now the way forward, including on those issues that the Minister of Home Affairs has raised. Now, talking about the United Arab Emirates having to come clean whether they will be prosecuting the Guptas in relation to money laundering, you have another case of uh, uh, Marcus Juste who is supposed to appear before the courts in Germany. He didn't pitch. He said he doesn't have his passport. We have since learned from the law enforcement agencies that it is not a case. As a country, are we going to cooperate with Germany should that warrant be issued by the law enforcement agencies in Germany because they've pointed out the prosecutor was going to apply for arrest warrant? Yeah, we always co cooperate with um, uh, other foreign jurisdictions, requesting uh, either our nationals or anyone in South Africa on a day-to-day -day basis to help them to attend to the issues of justice in their own country. And uh, this matter also of Mr. Justa is, is not different. We will definitely cooperate with German, but we will also have to look at um, uh, what then will become the issues of uh, sentencing and the imposition of the fines and what our laws are saying, because I have already seen some of the people convicted, the, the fines are, are, I mean, in South Africa, looking at the um, issues they are alleged to have committed. It's a very serious matter that may need a, a warrant, uh, the, the minimum sentencing regime in our country. So all those things will come into, into play and then we will be able to cooperate and respond to the, to the German authorities. And I, I, I fully agree with what you have established, that there is nothing that has stopped uh, Mr. Juster to travel to Germany from, from our side. Uh, there is nothing at all. He, 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 could, have been, he could have appeared in, in Germany. So I was also surprised when I saw that uh, 
where the, somehow uh, there was something that stopped him from our side. There was nothing at all. And finally, Minister, the other headache is the G4, uh, the, the, the company that is currently in charge of the prison in Bloemfontein. The contract, quite controversial. People saying you have to cancel or you must, or the voice, loud voice from ordinary South Africans, uh, political party saying, cancelled the contract, they violated the laws and the agreement, they didn't comply. Yeah, ironically, those people have not read the contract. We have read the contract, we are seeking legal advice on the contract because if we just act on emotions and become reckless and just wake up and cancel the contract, the possibility of us, government being liable for the two billion remaining for the contract remains very large and high. I mean, if there's a contract that exists between two parties, um, you need to follow the terms of the contract or whatever that could have been there that necessitate uh, the cancellation of the contract. And it's for that reason that we, we, during the course of this week, we will definitely announce to society that we have received um, uh, legal advice and this is the view. The second thing is not just uh, whether we cancel or not, which is a decision we're going to take in regard to that. We are looking at it and we will announce uh, in terms of that issue of the cancellation. The second issue with the uh, facilities that you will remember, uh, we also have to assess our own capacity to take it over if we, we cancel because there's about 507 employees. It has got more than 2,900 inmates. Mm -hmm. There is facilities, the systems, all those must be run. So if you just wake up and say you have cancelled, you must have the capacity to take over. So we're also assessing that second aspect and we will also announce before the end of this week or by the end of this week that this is the decision with regards to the cancellation. Secondly, this is our assessment of our own capacity to take over if indeed we decide to cancel. And finally, Minister, is Besta still at Mampuru and two? Are we going to see other arrests after thorough investigation by your own department, uh, perhaps uh, handing over to law enforcement agencies? Because people are saying he was a law unto himself and your officials, people who are supposed to ensure that he doesn't get involved in dubious acts, were actually facilitating his activities, high senior ranking officials were involved, allowing him to come in and out. Are you investigating your own department of correctional service in terms of the role of officials in that prison in facilitating this terrible, terrible deeds? Yeah, indeed, he's still at Hushmanpur. And um, you will know that the operating company at the Hushma, at the Mangaung Correctional Facility is G4S. So whoever was helping him to do whatever it is alleged uh, and what we found in terms of our own investigations, it has been mostly G4S officials who are running and operating the facility. And you will have seen that almost uh, some of them have been arrested. And I believe that there is cooperation between correctional services and the SAPS, so there could be more arrests of those officials from G4S that um, uh, help to facilitate this. Internally, we have also dealing with our own, uh, particularly the people who were responsible to monitor and control what is called control of the, of the contract, where there have been lapses, and uh, that investigation is continuing.